Okay, this is my buddy Rob here. Uh, he just topped locals a couple times with a uh, hero beat here or bubble beat, whatever the hell you want to call it. Skill drain, damn it. Skill drain beat, skill drain, bubble, it's dragon, a, and Zector beat. Okay, heroes. That's boring. Okay, well, let's see the deck list. All right. Exodia, that's how he wins. And Orgoth. Gotta have the Orgoth. Run three alias. He's your main Gemini spark target, hero blast target. Cross your god, run three. Stratos. Mm -hmm. Gets hand, gets over back field. Of course he's natural in any hero deck. Ignore the shitty sleeves, by the way. He uh, I'm just poor. kind of changed them a little bit ago. Two bubble man? I only run two because three was dead in my hand too much, and two, it just runs perfectly. Oh. I don't get as many dead draws in hand. Why do you refuse to run one? Because some ginger told me to, and he gives bad advice. <laughs> Evocator. Nope. Pretty good Nova Master Target when not up, up against um, Dino Rabbits. Mm hmm. Plus, he's a Gemini Spark target and Roto target. Two Barbaros. Two, ever since <coughs> I've um, taken out the third Bubble Man and put in a Barbaros in here, it has one run wonderfully. So many decks just can't get over that Barbar Barbaros, like Dino Rabbit. Dragon Swords have a tough time with it. How has been your local matchups against uh, Dino Rabbit recently and in Zectors? Because um, I'm sure a lot of people are interested in that, especially with Heroes. Dino Rabbit, it's not that big of a problem. I've only ever lost once to Dino Rabbit. And in sectors, I feel like I need to play better. So, All right. makes sense. On to spells. Now you got the staples: Monster Born, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, two MSTs, and one Bookman. All that staple. Three Ecols and one Rota. All the searching power you pretty much need in this deck. Obvious for heroes. Uh huh. And plus three Ecols. Might as well side one or two out just in case you're scared of those Thunder Kings. Three Miracle Fusions. Now I know some people just argue to death that two is better, but you got, you all can go to hell if you think that. Because three, <laughs> three is boss. You hear that directly from this man right here. Rob, go to hell! Rob Lang, you can go to hell if you do not like three miracle. Three paw dualities. You don't always have the special summon every turn. You can always just ha play that alias, Gemini Spark in the, in the back row. Be perfectly fine. Three Gemini Sparks. Of course, amazing with three targets, or four targets. Mm -hmm. I can't count. One Super Poly. One Super Poly. It's dead against too many things for me to like go going in at two. Especially with Insectors raising in popularity recently. Hell yeah. One Mass Change. This is the one card that I pretty much always side because it's just a big drop card. They don't expect me to blow up all their back row, so I just ma main it and just side it out instead. Mm-hmm. Solemn Gr Brigade. Two Warnings, One Judgment. Two Tarantulas, perfect for this kind of deck where you really only rely on one or two monsters at most. Two Hero Blasts, pretty much beats anything that's level four or lower nowadays. Explain the uh, combination between Hero Blast and Gemini Spark, because I've heard a few complaints about it that it's not uh, solid, it's not consistent. Okay. What, what do you think? Say I have, Ali I have Alias and Gemini Spark on the field, or, and Hero Blast is set on the field. Let's say they summon Tour Guide. I Gemini Spark it. Instantly kills it. And let's say I'm playing dragons or something, and they, um, well, not dragons. Something that gets out something again. I hear a blast it. Get alias back to my hand. Easy way to recycle the Gemini Spark targets. So you think, uh, three and two is a good combo there? Yeah, definitely. It's very equally balanced, except for the one time I drew three Gemini Sparks and two hero blasts. <laughs> no. And the main lovely, bah, the main thing in my deck. Three skill drains. Three is amazing with two Barbaros. It just hits so many things, like, the Insector matchups, and it really is only bad against Dark Worlds and other heroes. Took him getting looped by me a couple times to uh, realize three was How necessary. you mean a couple? <laughs> Alright, that's it for, ma for the main deck. Now for the extra deck. Three Shinings, one Overmaster, one Great Tornado, three Absolute Zeros, one Gaia, one Acid for the, for the mass change. I'd run Vapor, but I'm trying currently to test out the Jin. He hasn't proven himself useful yet, but Acid, he, the only thing he's really useful for is for the Insector matchups where they just can't pop him and have to suicide with Giga Weevil or whatever. I watched this card uh, cause a win for six hands against Heretics last night, so that's okay. good. Two Blade Armor Ninja. OTK? <laughs> yeah, basically. And two Utopias. Just so many level four targets. No Utopia Ray? No Utopia Ray. No Mind Control. If you run Mind Control in this deck, you're bad. You could use Utopia Ray with your own Utopia. No! Man. I'm not doing that! Okay. <laughs> have a side deck or no side deck today? He just said no side deck. Okay, well, we'll ignore that then. Okay. Besides, you don't get to see my side deck. You're not good enough. This is Rob, and uh, 
He's not going to YCS Philly. He wishes he does. He could. He'll I'm probably be. Lions Paladin too. He'll Screw be. Screw you, Horde. He'll probably be going to uh, the next regionals with us. Probably. Wish him luck. Bye.